Pecan pie is one of those all-time classic American desserts. A crisp pastry base with a rich, velvety filling flavoured with vanilla and bourbon whiskey and topped off with crunchy pecan nuts. It's a pie full of southern soul. And the first thing I want to do is crack on with the pastry. Put some softened butter and sugar into a food processor and blend until smooth and creamy. Now if you haven't got a food processor, then just beat the ingredients together in a bowl with a wooden spoon until they're light and creamy. Next, add the flour and then pulse until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. Combine the egg yolk with a bit of water and then add it to the mixture and pulse again until you've got wet sandy grains. Tip the mixture onto a work surface and gather everything together into a rough ball with your hands and then roll together until it's smooth. Flatten out into a disc, roll in cling film and pop it in the fridge and chill until it's firm. While the pastry is chilling, tip the nuts onto a baking tray and then toast them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. They should turn a deep brown color and smell of fresh popcorn. And take 75 grams of those nuts and blend them in a food processor to a rough crumb. Combine them with the rest of the nuts and set them aside for later. Once the pastry is chilled, unwrap it and lay it on a large sheet of cling film. Top with another sheet and then roll out thinly. Remove the cling film, drape the pastry over a rolling pin and then lay it over the tart tin. Carefully push the pastry into the bottom of the tin and press it into the sides, making sure it's really neat. Then use a small sharp knife to trim off any excess pastry. Lay the scrunched up baking parchment on top of the pastry and then fill the case with rice or baking beans. Pop it into the fridge and leave it to chill for about 30 minutes or if you're pressed for time, into the freezer for 15 minutes. Once your pastry case is chilled, pop it into the oven and blind bake it for about 25 minutes. Take the baking beans and paper out bake it for another five minutes to get it really crisp and then set that aside to cool while I make my filling. So a couple of eggs go in. You want to just whisk these up just for about a minute until they're really frothy. Then in with some light brown soft sugar. This filling is all about building up layers of caramel flavour. So I've got the light brown soft sugar in there and then in with some maple syrup, which has got that lovely deep caramelly flavour. And then some golden syrup. And that's going to help it to be really sticky. Give it a quick whisk. And then in with some melted butter. A little pinch of salt. And some vanilla. And then in with the bourbon, which is a real flavour of the South. Whisk together, make sure it's all smooth, and then pour in the nuts. Give it a quick stir together, just make sure it's all really well mixed. And take your pastry case and just pour the filling in. So that needs to go into a hot oven preheated to 180 degrees for half an hour. Wow, that pecan pie looks and smells incredible. You've got this fantastic crust and all those great caramel flavors. And then those pecan nuts are roasted to give a kind of popcorn flavor. So just let that cool for a little bit and then serve it warm with a dollop of creme fraiche or some good vanilla ice cream.